YouTubers, Electric Adventures here with a, uh, another package video. Um, you know, I'll partially open this just to make sure it was what I was thinking it was. So I put a dress up on it so I quickly take the brown paper off. Uh, now, it's another retro system, retro computer that I don't have. Uh, no, I didn't pay very much for it. Uh, but every time you get one of these things, just don't pay for it. It has caveats. Now this one, I believe, does not have power supply. So, depending on what power it takes, it could be a challenge to get working. If it is quite well wrapped up, so it is appreciated to the seller. So I do know um, some people who do use these that were in contact with me um, recently regarding potentially converting my games to the system. Um, so it's a system that's in the family of uh, ZODA TI 99118 or similar chipsets. So MSX, Spectra Video, Coleco. Um, uh, Sega SC 1000 and 3000 and it is a Sword M5 so it's in quite a good condition box it has a slight musty smell ok so opening the box this is our first impressions so we actually have a pile of tapes there, what looks like a cartridge, a bit of loose bubble wrap here and there, so let's take that out. Right, we have the manual. So the user's guide, and that itself is in pretty good condition, 1983. Um, pictorial guide there. Um, all the connections. Now it does have a custom socket for its power, so we'll just have to wait and see what voltage it is and um, whether or not I have to uh, get a power supply or build one to the right voltage so I'll have to do a bit of research. Um, uh, yes right, so we've got 5 volts 12 volts and 2 volts, so it does sound a little bit custom, so be interesting, but you never know when I might be able to come across a power supply. I actually do know one seller all the way over in Spain, I think it was, was actually selling a box for one of these with the power supply and cables, but without the computer. Let's have a look at the computer, it's actually in really good condition, actually. It's quite small, it's not too big. Um, see by the size of my hand but the keys are all in really good condition um, it has a oops, easy to do one hand so we have a top section here with some instructions and it's cartridge slot there right around the back we have quite a few connections so I can't read them in the camera there, so you probably won't be able to. Let's go a little bit closer. Come on, focus please. No, nope, it's not going to. So anyway, from this side, so we have power. Um, and then we have a cassette. Uh, printer ports. Right and left controller. Sound, video, so we've got composite output, that's good, and RF. Uh, around the side I take it we've got a little RF high-low selection switch and there's the bottom of the unit too so this is another one that may have to wait a while now most importantly I have the basic one cartridge um, I knew that was in there so I was reasonably confident of that I have uh, so I've got some actually some cassette games so I've got Baseball. And we have this pile of tapes here, and they're, they're still sort of. I mean, they've been opened at one end, 
So three circles, sorry, reflect, reflection again, three circles number search. Where's the back of it just for interest? Interesting. Uh, snaky barrier attack. Cowboy barricade. Solitaire, Tower of Hanoi. Biorhythm diagnosis, diagnosis, and um, sorry, music tone. Reflections. And that one's not opened at all. <laughs> and neither is this next one. Uh, blackjack and slot machine. So all of it, and the styrofoam is actually in pretty good condition. So there it is all out. So I mean, I didn't pay very much for it. Um, I think fifty dollars, all up, including postage, for a reasonably good machine. Um, I mean, I just it looks like it's been well looked after. It's just that they lost the power supply. Um, so I'll have to see if I can get a power supply, and I said it is a little custom, so it might be a long wait before we um, manage to, you know, complete this as a working unit in the collection. But I am most interested in, and I am in touch with a users group overseas, so I will um, get in touch with them and see whether they um, know where I can get a power supply or an appropriately compatible power supply to get it running see if it works but it really is a lovely looking little machine just give another closer look at the keyboard it's actually quite nice and those keys are actually nice and there's not it looks hardly used at all so virtually nowhere so another one that will probably have to stay in the box for a little while but um, uh, hopefully it doesn't have to be repaired like some of the other ones I've got recently but um, a welcome addition to the retro computer collection and uh, we'll get it working Here we go with the um, Sword M5 fire up, as you can see, comes up and um, gives quite a good um, picture on the screen. Uh, it's telling us we're running Basic Dash I, so or Integer Basic. I believe there are uh, not other versions of the Basic. So this is the only cartridge I have, but I do have the um, tape that came with the system, and the sound comes with the system. So if we press tape and enter. Um, so I have all the chords, uh, so I've got the tape cord, um, and I'm just using, it's got AV out, so I've got that hooked up to the little TV here, and I've got the monitor turned on the tape, so, so the first, it's got a set of programs and then the introduction, the first one is your TV adjustment thing, which is quite a good little thing, as you can see, it's not very, um, uh, didn't take long to load and it does some colour patterns which is really good because it's you know showing the colour palette of the machine um, we've got some changing ones here so you know we've got a pretty good picture out of the machine and there we go showing the colour blending and some more we're well, back to our original Right, I'm not sure I can can I reset out. Oops. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll restart. It's really funny, once I got the power brick for the um, system. How large it is. <laughs> It'd have to be a fair, you know, um, a fairly good size. No, so in comparison um, there's been a fair bit of time between when I unbox this um, on this video and when I'm actually doing this um, because I've got a fully boxed sword M5 with all the cables and everything but it was missing the power supply um, and I was lucky enough to come across one in Greece of all places um, at least I believe it was Greece or was it Turkey? I'm not sure now but anyway it, um, it came from a little way away um, I got it and it's a two, you know, a 240, 220 volt input one anyway, so it works fine. I just need a plug converter. 
Okay, so our second one is called Zach Bannock, which is a little bit of a, um, a shooting game, a dodging game. I should have looked up the key um, combinations of the... Um, I don't have joystick. I'll just um, I'll put the guide here. Um, okay, so it's just up here. Oh, okay, so the ones. Okay, replay. Oh, okay, I've got a menu thing up here. So it's just the uh, they've got two little arrow keys on the keyboard here. What was fire? sound going on my capture so I can stay alive for a second whilst operating a mouse with my, my left hand <laughs> we might get a little there we go a little bit less confusing so so we're shooting the um whoops ah shooting the asteroids and um Trying to get some of these aliens. We're also shooting, so it's character based. Fairly simple, didn't take long to load, but it's just a bit of a you know, demonstration of simple capabilities of it. Not a bad little um, effort. Alright, let's try the next thing on the table. Okay, not sure I haven't actually gone past where I'm supposed to. Oh, here we go, we've got something else now. Okay, here we go, with baseball. I'm actually quite impressed with the tape loads a bit. I mean, I suppose these are fairly small demos though. Um, now, I believe the basic come while we're waiting for that to load. We can talk more about the machine. Um, that comes with quite a nice guide. So that's its first loading part. There we go, so we've got uh, 20k of RAM, but I mean like 16k of that is for the Texas Instruments video chip, so it's only got 4k of RAM. Um, it comes with the basic, you know, with the system to start with, so it doesn't have a lot. Um, but it's amazing what you can do in that amount of RAM, especially with ROM cartridges. I mean, uh, if you look at it, the Coleco, which is identical um, setup, only has 1k of RAM, plus the 16k video RAM, of course. So the baseball game's a bit bigger. Okay. Ooh, there we go, we've got a bit of a... There we go, we've got a bit of a screen now. We've got our baseball game up. Okay, so pitching. Um, so we can just pitch straight. Uh, yeah, the idea is to play this two players, by the way. Um, so, I need to pitch for myself, or I'd better do a straight pitch. There we go. Foul. Out, I reckon. There we go, that's better. Two base hit. A very simple little one, sort of the strike curve ball. Got a foul. So, not a lot of um, sound effects, of course. And out. 
There we go, some simple demonstrations there. Now I'll just get out one of the other tapes that came with it. So I have uh, this one here. So I'm just using my, the tape player that I, um, which is my Senyo tape player that I use for my MSX. Seeing whether the loading procedure is the same, I take it it is. Chain, okay. I'll have to see if I can get some more documentation on the command set for this particular machine. Cowboy. And the stars hit the bottom, so they've got a little bit of a loading screen, which is always nice. Okay, so it's got obviously a multiple segments here. Okay, hit any T. So this looks to be a basic game too, which is excellent. So we'll be able to have a look and um, so I'm not even sure what else about you as the cowboy chasing outlaws. Outlaws jailed in the cage. Uh, so you, you just got to catch the cow, the um, the outlaw. Yeah. Okay, so I think you've got to catch. The outlaw before he steals a horse. See how a horse disappeared there. So it's quite simple. Now we can have a look at the code for this because this is a, this is a basic game. So let's have a look. Shift and reset. Shift and reset. Okay, let's try. Standard basic command list. No, okay. But we can press run again. So obviously loads it into memory. So you can obviously protect listings. Um, but there we go, some simple little games I've got for it. Um, uh, I'll go through some of the others and have a bit of a look. Uh, might do some other videos of this later down the track. But hopefully you've all found this very interesting to have a bit of a play with me with a, a machine that's not very common. And um, I'll catch you all next time.